In this lesson, you will focus on the phase A, project planning, and start addressing a real-world problem, as mentioned at the beginning of lesson one. For scope management, the most important principle is start small and don't try to boil the ocean. You will be asked to start from a very general enterprise strategy narrow it down to business needs and user requirements, and then translate those to specific AFSDK functionalities. For resource management, you will be requested to check if your company resources are in place for you to start the project. You will also be asked to review the resources available for your coding activities. As we promised, we will jump right into the exercises. Please answer these three questions. In fact, the answers to these questions define the high-level requirements of your AFSDK application, if you're writing a project charter or something similar. The first question is to make sure in general you will use AFSDK as it is intended. The second question is to make sure your application will improve, not impede, the key functionalities or features of your asset framework products. The third question is directly related to the real-world problem you are about to work on. It is for making sure your application will preserve the benefits of the AF template usage. At this point, you may want to pause the video now to give you a few minutes to think about these three questions. And when you're ready, we will move on to the answers.